Hey, Joel McDonald here, and today we're going to talk about Lesson 2 of 21, and that is about tracking conversions. Now, in Lesson 1, we talked about people setting low daily budgets and how that can hurt them. Nine times out of ten, if you're setting a low daily budget, it's usually because you're not tracking conversions. So instead, you're just keeping a low daily budget, and you're spending money, and you're kind of haphazardly keeping track of whether it's working, whether you're getting leads or sales, and it's really kind of inaccurate. So the number two thing that you should be looking for in making sure that your account is functioning properly is making sure that not only are you tracking conversions, but you're tracking all types of conversions and that you're tracking value per conversion. So let's take a look at how you can do that. So there are three types of conversions that you typically want to track and there are subtypes of each of those. There are tracking leads, tracking sales, and tracking phone calls. And it's so easy to set up that there really is no excuse for not doing that. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and then we'll come back to actually tracking conversion values. So here we are in a test account that I have set up and basically I'm going to show you how to set up the conversion script so that you can start to actually track how many conversions you're getting and so on. So it's really easy. When you're logged into your account, all you have to do is go over here to Tools, then to Conversions, and they have a little questionnaire for you. Uh, basically, as you can see, I've already created some conversion scripts, but let's create a new one. Let's just add a new conversion, and they're going to ask you what type of conversion it is. Now, in almost all cases, you're going to drive people to a web page, to a thank you page that says thank you for signing up, thank you for your purchase, thank you for whatever, it ac whatever action it is that you wanted them to take. Very important that this is not your landing page, not the majority of the pages on your site, but the page that people go to after they hit submit and buy something from you or give you their name and email or whatever. I'll show you a little bit more about that later, but um, let's just say for this case that it's a uh, new lead, and we're gonna. That's going to be uh, a script that we're gonna place on a certain web page. In this case, a thank you page. We hit save and continue. Then they ask a few questions. Um, they want to know how long oh, the conversion category. In this case, it's a lead. Doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. Pick whether it's a lead, a sign up, or a sale, whatever. Um, the conversion window, their default is 30 days, but if you have a long incubation period, in other words, if people come to your site and then they don't do anything and they come back a month or two later, then you might want to extend that window. But by default, 30 days is a pretty safe uh, estimate. You want them to track all conversions. And then this other one, by default, you should always just choose um, each conversion could have a different value. That will allow you to change that down the road if you decide that different conversions are worth different values. Come back to that in a minute. So you're just going to say that each conversion could have a different value. You can leave the default value as a dollar or you could change it. That's up to you. Uh, after that, everything else is pretty much straightforward. You can choose, you know, if you want one line for the for the little disclaimer to show up as one line or two, doesn't matter a whole lot. And advanced options, don't even worry about that. Hit save and continue, and then they ask you if you do this yourself or if someone else makes changes. Honestly, it's you could if you have a programmer that's doing it. They'll set a, they'll send instructions along with the code directly to your programmer or developer. So that's a great idea if you have someone else working on your website. If you're doing this yourself, or in this case, if you want to demonstrate it live, you would hit that you make the changes to the code. All you do is grab this code, you copy it, and you paste it onto that thank you page. Now, that's the same whether you're doing leads and tracking opt-ins, or if you're selling products and tracking sales, all of those are going to have a thank you page. And in fact, there's a way that you can track phone calls. So even if the majority of your business or sales or leads come in through the phone, there's a way of tracking that. Basically, whenever I manage my clients' accounts, 
we set up a, a, a conversion page that is, is hidden that whenever people call a certain phone number, it registers as a conversion. And that way, I get to see what keywords are working, what keywords aren't, and it works really, really effectively so that we can be as aggressive as possible on the keywords that are generating lots of sales and reduce or cut out the keywords that aren't generating sales or phone calls. So either way, whether it's leads, sales, phone calls, this script is the same thing. You copy this script, you place it on the thank you page. So now let's go back and take a look at that. So let's use a landing page of mine, for example. I am tracking leads. I don't typically generate sales right on my website. People typically want to talk to me, interview me, get testimonials, etc. But I have two different types of leads right here on this page. And they are two very different values. So this is a very low value lead. Virtually everyone that comes to my website downloads a couple chapters of my book. Uh, and that has a value of, let's just say, $5. So I would take that conversion script and whenever someone signs up, they get taken to a thank you page. So here we go. This is the thank you page. And I place that script that I showed you a little earlier onto this page. All I have to do is go and edit this page or give it to my programmer. My programmer would put that little script on this page Visitors don't really even notice it. It's a, it's a behind-the-scenes script. But that way, I can tell every time someone hits this page, and they hit this page, and it's, it's because of signing up for a couple free chapters from my book. Now, I'll show you how to track the actual values with that in a minute. It's really, really easy. Before we do that, though, let's talk about a different value. So I can take that same script and track a different type of conversion. So whenever someone fills out this, this is a little more serious inquiry. This is someone who is interested in talking with me about management services. Now, I charge thousands of dollars a month for my management services, and uh, whether, I, whether I consult for someone or manage for someone, that's a lot more valuable. So I can take that exact same script and say that if someone fills out this form, they go to a different thank you page, and that's worth several hundred dollars to me, if not more. So those are two examples of different types of leads that can be generated. So here we are. Remember, I generated this code, and I copied this, and I placed it on my thank you page. But before I place it, when someone signs when I place it on the thank you page for someone signing up for my book, I change this value right here. The conversion value equals $1, and I change that to, say, $5. It's worth $5 to me when someone signs up for, for my book because eventually you know, they, they get other tips from me, and eventually they might, you know, a small percentage of those people might eventually hire me or buy something from me or something like that. So I can say that that is worth $5 and all I have to do is change that from a 1.0 to a 5.0. Likewise, if someone signs up over here for my consulting services, that's worth several thousand dollars a month to me. And so I want to track what people are signing up for. Different keywords are going to generate different types of leads and I want to know which are the more valuable leads and which are the less valuable leads so I don't overspend on certain keywords and so I don't underspend on others that are very profitable for me. So all I have to do is come right here and instead of changing this from 1.000 I change it to 300 or 500 or a thousand or whatever I determine that lead is worth to me and then Google simply tracks not only how many conversions I'm getting because I can get dozens of book signups and that's great because I'm building my list of loyal followers and that's always very helpful but I really really want to know about the which keywords are generating consulting and management inquiries because those are worth a lot more. So all I have to do is change that value and place that script on my thank you page for consulting inquiries and everything's taken care of for me. Google tracks all of those different values. 
Now, if you are in sales and you have an e-commerce site and you have, let's say it's a golf store and you have golf tees that are worth two or three dollars per sale, and you have golf carts that are worth a thousand or two thousand dollars per sale to you, that's a totally different story. You're probably going to need a little help from your programmer or developer, but it's still very simple. All you have to do is send them this exact same script, and when you send it via email, Google sends all sorts of instructions, and all they have to do is change this same value, but instead of having it as a static number, $5, $200, $300, whatever, they do their programming thing and insert a little bit of JavaScript that tells Google every time a sale is made exactly what is made. And that way, you get to track what keywords are converting. And you'll be surprised. when You, you might have thought that your golf tees were only worth 2 or $3, but this will tell you people are buying 100 packs or 1,000 packs for charity events. And you might find that golf tees sell a lot more units. So it's not, even though your golf t a bag of golf tees sells for a buck, you might sell a hundred or a thousand at a time and Google will track that for you so again there is really no excuse for just tracking conversions you should also be tracking value per conversion so that you can find out which keywords are not only generating conversions but how many dollars they're actually bringing in hopefully that answers all your questions about conversion tracking and how important it is and how much it can help you so for more information, feel free to visit my website. I've got free videos, free excerpts from my book, and anything else you might need. Thanks for watching.